Change Your Thinking Change Your Life by Brian Tracy Chapter 8, Think Like a Genius Part C Make every thought, every fact that comes into your mind pay you a profit. Make it work and produce for you. Think of things not as they are but as they might be. Don't merely dream but create. Maxwell Maltz Keep your mind open. In 1975, IBM commissioned consultants to study the market potential of the personal computer. They came back with the conclusion that the market for personal computers was only a few hundred in the entire world, at best. Based on this information, IBM decided to concentrate its efforts on mainframes, where it was already the world leader, and ignore the personal computer market, leaving it to a little upstart company in Cupertino, California, called Apple Computer. When the Apple computers hit the market and began to sell by the hundreds, and then thousands, IBM got smart fast. IBM did an about-face and decided to plunge into the small computer business. And the company did. IBM came out with a PC that within four years captured more than 50% of the world market for smaller computers. Watch for the trends. But IBM failed to notice that a major trend to smaller computers had taken place. Ignoring its initial success in PCs, IBM continued to concentrate on the development and sale of mainframes. While IBM's attention was focused on mainframes, more and more competitors rushed into the personal computer field, and eventually IBM was displaced as the world leader. IBM failed to see that its success in capturing 50% of the personal computer market was indicative of a sweeping trend in computers that would change the entire world. Today IBM is scrambling to catch up, competing with companies like Dell Computer, Hewlett Packard slash Compaq, Toshiba, and others. Because IBM missed the trend, it is unlikely that it will ever recover its position in the personal computer market. Think about the future. Keep your eyes open. There are more changes taking place all around you today than ever before. Any one of these changes may be indicative of a trend that could lead on to fortune and success for you. You must be open, awake, and alert to these changes. Nothing remains the same for very long. All your best opportunities will come from applying your knowledge and brain power to new products and new services in the future. All you need to start a fortune is an idea that is 10% new. All you need is a product or service innovation that is a little better, faster, or cheaper than something else, and you can quickly move to the front of the line. Many of the great fortunes being made today in the United States and throughout the world are being created by people who started with nothing. One day, they came up with a breakthrough idea that revolutionized or transformed their industry. What could it be for you? Two factors that hold you back. There are two major factors that stand in the way of you using more of your natural intelligence. They are psychosclerosis and homeostasis. Psychosclerosis is another name for hardening of the attitudes. This is experienced by a particular type of person who is rigid, inflexible, and unchanging. This is the kind of person who develops fixed attitudes on a certain person or subject and then resists any attempt to change his mind. This is often called the mechanical way of thinking. You probably know people who suffer from it. The opposite way of thinking is more open and flexible. This is called the adaptive worldview. Adaptive people keep their minds open to new information. They are curious and interested in new ideas and developments. They are more concerned with what's right than with who's right. They are willing to abandon an old idea if someone can come along and show them that a new idea has more merit. They are more concerned that the new idea works to solve a problem or achieve a goal than they are with being right themselves. Three Qualities of Genius Geniuses have been studied extensively over the years. One of the most remarkable conclusions the experts have arrived at is that geniuses are not necessarily people with extraordinary high IQs. They are often ordinary people who use their intelligence in a superior way compared to average, or even smarter, people. What this means is that you can function at genius levels if you learn to think the way that geniuses do. Geniuses seem to have three characteristics in common, each of which you can develop and make into a regular part of your thinking. First, geniuses seem to have open minds. 
they are curious, questioning, flexible, and willing to consider a wide range of possibilities in dealing with a question or problem. This adaptive mindset is like an open door that allows ideas to blow through from any direction, or source. This is the mindset of the genius. And you can learn it by practicing it. Second, geniuses seem to approach problems and decisions systematically. They don't throw themselves at a problem like a dog chasing a passing car. Instead, they approach every difficult situation by asking structured questions in a logical order, like solving a problem in math. Third, geniuses approach problems with a series of questions. Questioning opens your mind. Geniuses first ask, what exactly is the problem, and why is this a problem in the first place? They then ask, what would be an ideal solution to this problem, and what holds us back from achieving such a solution? They ask, why does this situation exist? How did it happen? What caused it? Where and when did it first occur? Who is involved in it? What are the different ways that we could solve this problem? Of all the different ways, which solution seems to be the most acceptable, all things considered? The very act of questioning opens your mind and expands your options. It increases your creativity and stimulates your imagination. Questioning enables you to think more effectively about the problem, and ultimately reach a better decision. Jumping to conclusions People with mechanical mindsets tend to jump to conclusions. They see a problem and they immediately decide on a solution. When two events happen close together, they assume that one event is the reason for the second event. They confuse correlation with causation. Once they have made a decision, they look for evidence to confirm what they have already decided. Their egos quickly become involved, and they then become reluctant to change their minds. There seems to be a direct relationship between the quantity of ideas and approaches you develop to solve a problem and your likelihood of coming up with the best idea that will solve the problem in the very best way. For this reason, you must discipline yourself to resist the temptation to jump to conclusions, or to rush to judgment. You must proceed more slowly, like a genius, and keep asking questions. You must keep your mind open.